Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Shoggoths. Today we are at the Superdome Park and we're going to take a gyrosphere tour throughout the whole thing. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the Superdome, it is a aviary that I made in the Oregon Sandbox Park and it is comprised of 92 aviaries if I remember correctly and uh, it houses both dinosaurs and flying reptiles. And they're living in peace and harmony. We've got carnivores and uh, herbivores in here. Kind of did like an ecosystem kind of thing. Mesutoceratops were discovered in Utah's Hyparowitz formation, which during the late Cretaceous would have been a wet and humid landscape full of swamps and floodplains. Now I'm actually not going to uh, talk through this whole thing. It's going to be a narrated ride by the normal narrator. I just wanted to pop in and give an intro. I also want to apologize. The flapping of the pterosaur wings is incredibly loud inside the gyrosphere and I do not know why. And unfortunately, uh, if I lower it, it's also going to lower the, the talking volume of the narrator. So you kind of just have to deal with it and I tried to kind of get away with it or away from it as much as I could but it is really loud and I don't know why that is are often likened to our modern day cattle with its short hollow snout also contributing to the extraordinary appearance of this smaller ceratopsid Yeah, you can hear it there. It's just all-encompassing. So anyways, I'm going to leave you to enjoy the tour without me yammering on in the background. You'll have the normal tour narration to guide you through it. It's about a 17-18 minute long uh, tour altogether. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, it, the, the dinosaur turnout was pretty good. I was happy with it. So as always, I appreciate you checking out my videos. And until next time, have a good one. Even our most versatile and durable park vehicles struggle in the testing conditions of a snowstorm. Not only are our park team vehicles hindered in such situations, but the tour vehicle you are using today may be affected too. The broad jaws of the Nigerosaurus allow it to gather large amounts of vegetation with just a single bite, leading to this small, low-browsing sauropod being lovingly nicknamed the Mesozoic Lawnmower. The gyrosphere is an amazing machine, made possible by science. Your safety is our main concern, which is why you're behind our invisible barrier system. For added protection, each vehicle is surrounded by aluminum oxynitride glass, so tough it can stop a 50 caliber bullet.
a fish-eating pterosaur from northeastern Brazil, Marodactylus is a flying reptile, perhaps best known for its incredible denticulation, bearing at least 35 pairs of teeth in its upper jaw alone. The most defining feature of the Proceratosaurus is its brightly colored nasal crest. And the discovery of this attractive appendage has led to much discussion and deliberation between paleontologists. This colossal titanosaurian originally lived in Argentina and is one of the largest ever known land animals. Its tremendous size and power led to it being named Dreadnoughtus, meaning fears nothing. The neck bones of Dreadnoughtus contain numerous pneumatic air sacs to help limit its weight. Paleontological analysis suggests that this gives these astonishing dinosaurs an avian-like respiratory system. Snowstorms present a considerable hazard here at the park for guests, staff, and animals. Should conditions worsen during your visit to the park, please pay attention to the instructions communicated to you via our announcement system. but has since been reclassified as an early member of the Tyrannosaur family, preceding the giant Tyrannosaurs of the Cretaceous. The tall-crested, toothed pterosaur, Mara Dactylus, was named after the daughter of a Brazilian tribe's chief. A legend told of sorcery transforming the girl into a river monster that would prey upon local fishermen.
originally used for dynamic soaring. This would allow them to conserve energy by passing over ocean waves to pick up speed. One of the most iconic traits of the majestic Tyrannodon is the protruding skull crest. Straight from the road, it angles back from the rear of the skull and aids the pterosaur when maneuvering in flight. One hundred and fifty million years ago, Compsognathus thrived as one of the top land predators in a rather unfamiliar European landscape. A dry, tropical archipelago with lagoons, beaches, and coral reefs. The gargantuan skull of Giganotosaurus has been known to surpass lengths of 1.6 meters, exceeding the size of a Tyrannosaurus rex skull, and even the height of the average human being. Boasting a highly impressive wingspan, this avian reptile would glide over water bodies and snatch fish from the water. As weather conditions intensify, it becomes increasingly hard for our staff and automated systems to track our animals. You may well encounter some interruptions to our usual services while we attend to routine security measures, but we hope to keep any disruptions to a minimum. Even our most versatile and durable park vehicles struggle in the testing conditions of a snowstorm. Not only are our park team vehicles hindered in such situations, but the tour vehicle you are using today may be affected too.
the gyroscopic technology will keep you upright at all times, so you've got nothing to worry about. Despite its minute size, Compsignathus is an accomplished predator. More commonly known as the Compi, this nimble little carnivore is one of, if not the, fastest bipedal dinosaurs to have ever existed. Although our gyroscopic technology greatly minimizes the impact of turbulent terrain, it is still important that you keep your seat belts fastened at all times.